that, that's how we look. I know I haven't put the tent up properly yet. First time I've put it up, so I will get it up properly. Uh, and also I'm on a hill, so if you wonder why it's not, the skirt isn't touching the ground, that is why. So let's have a wee look inside of it. Now I'm six foot one, I fit in it plenty. Uh, so yeah, here we go here. So this is just a wee tap sheet I got from home base for a pound. So I thought, why not? It's small, it covers enough for me when I'm lying down and it gives me a wee bit of a cover for a porch area, which is great. Uh, let's see. Uh, so here you have got the porch uh, under my rucksack there. I've just got like, my drone and some bottles of water, a couple of cans. And then inside is my crappy beginner, well, not crappy, my beginner's gear. So I've got the, this is my first sleeping bag kind of properly, which is just a, it's the Galert, what is it, Trifan 300DL, uh, I can't remember what the, the specs on it are, let me see, I've got the bag here I think, uh, maybe, do I have the bag, it should be here somewhere, there we go, nope. In here, so the specs on it it says, I don't know if you can see that, is maximum 4.3 comfort 0.9 and limit 16.6. So that's okay. Do you know it's my, that was my first sleeping bag, got it from I think it was Sports Direct and it was 30 pounds. So it's a good budget one. The downside is, I think it's about one point. Eight, five kilograms and it's massive you can't compress it really at all uh, but my next camp uh, which will be next week I've got a new sleeping bag I've got a new mattress I've got a new basically all to all this gear you see here will be getting replaced uh, and I cannot wait because the new sleeping bag uh, the mat and uh, uh, the mattress is going to take up the same space as what only the sleeping bag did but I'm saving like, a, I think it's like a kilo and a half or something, or a kilo, I can't remember. I'll, I'll definitely put the specs up. So yeah, sleeping bag there, it's got, what do they call them, a duffel or a, I can't remember. It's just for around your shoulders to uh, trap heat. It's also got a wee pocket here, uh, so you can stick your mobile phone in it. Uh, under that, I have the Van Gogh Trek Compact self-inflating air mattress. And I think that's only, what, two centimetres it does. Uh, it's okay, but the, I'll show you when I'm packing up the size of this mattress. It's huge. It really is. Uh, and that's why I've got a, a, a new mattress that is pretty much a third of the size of that. Uh, also got a closed foam uh, sheet. Not sheet, mat. Uh, this was a wee bit longer. I cut it. I cut a bit off of it because I thought, well, I don't need it that long. Do you know what I mean? I just want it. I think there'd probably be an extra 12 to 14 inches on it, so I just cut it off. I didn't need it. Uh, also, my pillows. Now, I've got a couple. I've got, a, I don't know if you've noticed, but the, I've got a couple of pillows. Uh, you know, the block pillows you get from the Poundland. I'm going to try that out, see what it's like, but I don't think I'm going to like it. So, what I've got that I haven't tried as yet is the. What have we got here? The Galert uh, pillow. It's kind of fleecy on one side, shiny on the other. Uh, I think that was three ninety nine on Go Outdoors. I also got a, a small pillow, Freedom Trail. And between the two of them, it's quite comfy. So I'm looking forward to having that. Now, a couple of pockets there. Uh, now, what I would probably say is, I never put this tent up in the house. I live in a flat, so I didn't have enough space. Uh, so I did struggle a wee bit to get the, the bloody tent up. I managed it, do you know what I mean? Uh, there is some things that I need to work on and fix, uh, obviously, uh, with the tent. So I will get that done. Uh, so I'm just fixing that tent peg. 
So yeah, I mean, there's plenty of space, like I said, the wee porch area, you've got a tension, and, and this is, I mean, it, 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 it is quite sturdy. So I mean, I've only got one, two, three guy lines in. Uh, the front and the two backs, the rest has just been pegged in. But, as you can see, you can easily fit two people in here. Two people and two rucksacks quite easily. Uh, and the thing I liked about the, the Bango Cairn Gorn is it's the upgraded version of, I believe it's the upgraded version of the Nevis. Uh, it's got a bit of hydrostatic head. Uh, I think the website said something to do with the ropes as well. So yeah, this will be my first camp. My first, believe it or not, this is my first solo wild camp. Uh, and I'm super looking forward to it. I really am, and do you know what I mean? Just sitting back there, enjoying the view. Uh, you turn around and see anything else, and then you see something like this, which is just. Let me just get that on. There we go. Just absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to sit and watch the sun go down and have a wee cup of tea. Uh, Right guys, gonna get some cooking done with a jet boil X2. Uh, I got that off eBay for £20, but I think Planet X Bikes right now is doing them for £25. And real impressed with it so far. For all those that say the jet boil costs more, it does. But say the gas. A four pound bottle of gas will cost you, obviously four pound, a four pound bottle of gas. Let's say it was 25% less efficient. And I've already worked it out, 25 camps compared to 20 camps, you'd save 20 pounds every 25 camps with a jet boil. 25 camps. So in three years, well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't do 25 camps a year, so you're looking at three years until the jet boil is starting to pay for itself compared to this. So, so what we're having for dinner tonight is some pasta twists with some smoky bacon and tomato stir fry and some smoked sausage. So we're going to get the gas on tonight. Let's uh, get it turned on. So finally got the pasta on the oven. So if this doesn't work then I'll get a pot, I've got a pot noodle. <laughs> I just hope this tastes alright. So here's my wee tent. The Cairn Gorm 200. Cheers and cheers. I don't know if you can see, but yep, dolphins playing in the water. I wish I had my my 200 lens with me. <laughs> that's crack. That's the first time I've seen. It's either dolphins or seals, but I don't think you get seals over here, so it's got to be dolphins. You'll see them kind of jump up in the air. Let's just try and see if we 
can't catch them. There we go. And there we go. The sun going down, look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Hey guys, well, first night in the tent, not oh, bad, dead on midnight, uh, right now it's half six, and I managed about three hours sleep, uh, half the night I was cold, uh, I don't know if that's a sleeping bag or because I just went in with just my Boxer shorts on, I'm not too sure. But a condensation up here, just there, but I know why that is. It's because I'm at an angle on a hill, on a slope. Do you know what I mean? If I was flat down, it'd be fine. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm tired, guys. Oh, I could go for a sleep, man. I really could. Well, let's see what it's like outside. I had a look yet. Oh. See, but misty, mist then. Huh? Tides in as well. Water's right up. So in summary guys, uh, first whale camp, I really really enjoyed it, had a lot of fun, learned a lot of new things, uh, it's my very first solo camp, I've been camping probably 40, 50, 60 times probably, that was my very first solo camp so I learned a lot, I learned what not to pack, what extra stuff not to take, uh, as far as whale camping and my thoughts on it. Uh, I don't know why, at 11 o'clock at night, maybe half 11, pitch dark, I stood up and I thought, you know what, I'll fling the rest of the tea out in my mug and uh, maybe have a cigarette and I turned round and two guys walked past and I was like, oh crap, and I, for some reason they just completely went away from my mind, I sat back down had a small wee fire going, had a cigarette and just went to bed. I never thought anything of it. Uh, you've just got to put these things out of mind. Why they were down where I was at half eleven at night, I have no idea. Walking their dog, or what, I don't know, but really, I really enjoyed it. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is my first video on this channel. Uh, please like if you liked it. Please comment if you've got any tips, hints or anything regarding the video and if you could subscribe it would mean a lot and it would help obviously build the channel and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, thank you, bye bye.